welcome back to my channel it's your girl renee carlson my phone's like a little off kilter or i am <laughs> seattle mua renee on instagram and i fell off the face of the earth <laughs> at least for social media sake i did um i took the longest break i think i ever have and it felt good i'm not gonna lie i there were a few days honestly that it almost scared me because i used to think what in the world like i can't find my phone I can't live five minutes without my phone. And then now, fast forward, I've been on Instagram a long time, so therefore I have, you know, more support, I guess eh, you could say, on there. I'm not sure. I'd argue the word support for what it is. I wanted to do this video basically the whole time I was on my little break, I was kind of hitting kind of like a little restart button, so to speak. I felt like there's just, there's obviously so much that happened this year. Like, it is insane. And the shit keeps happening. Like, it's real out there. And you know, it's affected every single person on the globe, on earth. It just, it just has in some way. I've talked about, and I'll try to link it here, my video kind of telling you the background and the story behind, or my story about um, living with diagnosed depression and anxiety. So uh, I did a video about that last year, I believe. So I just kind of wanted to do an update to that and do kind of like a little mental health check-in with y'all and let you know kind of some things and some struggles that I've faced, some things I've been dealing with, some things I had to get through, some things that I just, it just took me some time, y'all. It just, I just needed some time. So first and foremost, I want to thank you guys that support me for giving me and allowing me time. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I think when when you start to gain a following on any sort of platform, there is not only should you be a little aware of what you're saying, but there is also what people don't really talk about. There's this pressure put on you by me. Like I put it on myself. I'm not like going to blame anyone else for this problem. This is all me. But I kind of just wanted to fill you guys in, let you guys know what's been going on and how I've been handling it, which is not very well. And so yeah, if talking about anxiety or depression or anything like that, bothers you or triggers you in any way, then please just, you know, stay tuned for the next video, which hopefully from here on out will be every Friday. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications and the little bell because YouTube is not actually notifying people even when you put on notifications. If you're curious to know kind of what's been going on and literally what um, I've been dealing with 
mental health wise and everything, then just keep watching. Let's start with New Year's Eve. So one thing I will tell you that maybe you do or do not know about me, my birth date is actually December 30th. So the day before New Year's Eve. But that's just in case you guys wanted to know. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> when this year started, I posted kind of a little bit of a tease picture. Um, and I got a lot of hate for it, but <laughs> it cracks me up. It, it really did make me laugh because people were so offended. And I'm like, there's like so much worse things on the internet and, and people in way less than me. I mean, I was wearing a sweater for goodness sakes. Anyways, I, <laughs> maybe I am the one who's to blame for everything this year. <laughs> I usually don't make a big deal out of a new year. It just, I used to do the whole resolutions thing and then I realized that's crock shit. <laughs> and I uh, didn't really do anything. It's hard because with my birthday, I would either be hungover on New Year's Eve or like have plans both nights. And so New Year's Day, I'd just be just done for. I remember being so positive and saying, you know, 2020 is gonna be such an amazing year. We are gonna, you know, <clears throat> all my dreams are gonna come true. And then it wasn't. I think at first wasn't, it didn't really, affect me all that much. The fact that I'm in the Seattle area and we were on full lockdown for a few months. I am on medication. I take daily medication for depression and anxiety. I take Prozac and Wellbutrin and um, I'm not going to at all say anything more than that it started when I lost my dad. No, it really did. A lot of it did because I felt like a part of me died that day that my dad did. And that was really, really hard to let go of. I mean, of course I had like my mom lives very close to me. So we see each other almost daily because she got a little puppy and my little dogs love the little puppy. I'll insert a clip. They're so fucking cute. I just realized my mic has not been plugged in this whole fucking time. So hopefully uh, the sound wasn't too horrendous before I just uh, realized the mic wasn't actually plugged into my phone. I started to feel this pressure that just kind of like snowballed and got worse and worse and worse till I just kind of like lost all my energy. I felt like, like I got a flat tire. I felt like someone had taken a little spout, cut a hole in me and just drained me of my energy and it took me a while and some doctor's appointments and uh research and just time and help and support it's great to be a content creator but then there's this other side to it where you feel like okay especially during a pandemic you're required to stay home. You can't do anything. A lot of places are shut down. It's not like you could go shopping or anything. And I felt like a failure because I wasn't able to do this. I wasn't able to, I had no drive 
to put on my makeup, to wear a dress, to brush my hair, to do a whole bunch. Like, I'm still struggling and I'm still trying to find a balance because I feel like I've sort of found my niche and I've sort of found this outlet and I found support at the same time that I feel like I'm helping or making a difference in, you know, even just one person's life or if, you know, I help someone or someone hears something and it helps someone else. That's what's truly important at the end of the day. And I mean, besides your health, your health obviously is very important. And mental health is important too. And I think that, you know, during this time off, we've had, and a lot of the companies even have made it so that people can have internet and people can have access to things that maybe they couldn't even have before this happened. And so, you know, they're just literally spending all their time online. And after a while, it starts to drain you because you're just looking at images of tiny little pieces of what people want you to see. It's not actual reality. It's not all real. So, you know, it really affects your outlook after a while. It's important to take time out. It's important to take time for yourself. Whatever I, I noticed the other day, um, I was, it was nice out here and I was outside walking the dogs. So I had my two dogs and my mom had her dog and my little girl, Chloe, just beelined it. And so I started running after her and my mom's like, I'm so proud of you. You were just running and you went all this way and look at how far you, you, you know, the other day you didn't even want to leave the house and now you're out at the, you know, park bench, <laughs> made it a mile down the street. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and you know, hopefully it helps out someone. And if nothing else, I just want everyone to know that you're not alone. And whatever you're feeling inside is okay. You don't ever need to justify or explain or anything. Your feelings are your feelings. And you also got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of your body. You got to take care of your mind because you can't be the best version of yourself without taking care of yourself first. So it's not selfish. It's self-care. It's not selfish. It's self-care. I... I'm going to try my best to stick to my every Friday new video, but, um, you know, it might be Saturday, it might be Thursday, uh, but I am going to consistently be putting up content. And, you guys, I have all of this stuff for this month's for October's giveaway, y'all. So make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you turn notifications on, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I will leave a link so it's nice and easy peasy for you and all the details of this makeup look, which by the way, I'm in front of a window and my ring light, so it's like light. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I hope it was helpful. I'd love to know how you're doing and how you're handling all this. And if there's anything I can do, you know, feel free to email me. You can DM me on Instagram. I can't say that I will get back to everyone immediately, but I try my best to get back to as many people as I can. So I love you guys. I hope you're staying well. I hope you're staying healthy and I love you. And we're going to make it through this and maybe next year <laughs> will be awesome. But nonetheless, I love you guys. I hope you've been well. I hope you will be well and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to subscribe because why wouldn't you?